Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, another new brewery that we've not done on here before. This one comes from the West Coast. It is Worthy Brewing out of Bend, Oregon. And what we have here is something that sounds very, very delicious. It is their Lights Out Vanilla Cream Extra Stout. So I'm assuming that means like an Imperial, Double, whatever. Um, people play with the words of the styles, so it's all good. 7.7% alcohol by volume. Really hoping this pans out the way I want it to because Vanilla Cream Extra Stout just sounds so good. So good. Let's pop this sucker. I almost wanted to just smell it straight out of there. I refrain. All right, so looks like a stout. It doesn't look like an imperial stout, though, because I can see through it on the edges where there's, like, a little reddish coloration to it, but it's pretty dark overall. Um, you know, like a tannish head to it. Can't really see too much. You can see a little bit at the bottom there, like the reddish tinge. But anyway... Hmm. It smells very malty. I'm not really smelling any of the vanilla cream. I mean, I smell that it's got like kind of a lactic creaminess to it, so that's where the cream comes in, but not really smelling a whole lot of vanilla in there. Um, it does smell a little bit like uh, sunflower seed husks, you know, a little bit, little maybe of like an alfalfa type note on there as well, actually. Um, this beer is not super fresh either, just to let people know. Uh, it's like a year old, to be honest. But stouts typically should be fine. I don't know. The, some of the vanilla may very well drop out of this because it's a year old. But, you know, that was on me. It's not the brewery. I didn't just pick this up. I've had this sitting where I hadn't seen it. So one of my big issues with accidental beer aging. So let's try this. Yeah, it's super thin at the moment. It's really thin. It's got almost a little bit of a of a sweet with, you know, like sometimes when beers are like really sweet at the end, they're kind of like have a little bit of a tartness to them as well. There's some roastiness on it. A little bit of a creaminess as well. Really, I don't get the vanilla. Well, actually, a slight, slight, slight bit on the very end of that last sip. I got just a, just the littlest, teeniest bit. Um, there's probably some of my fault to be had on this one for sure. Uh, I can't know, you know, definite, but sorry. That makes this review a little bit of a dud because it is a year old and the vanilla may have kind of fallen out. So I'm going to have to try and see if I can get some more worthy beer to give them a good shot. But at any rate, I would say... It's not bad, it's okay, um, but I'd say this review is kind of inconclusive because of the age on the beer. But anyway, um, if you guys have any ideas on beers you want to see, uh, BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com, just hit me up there. Uh, also, you can follow me on Untapped. I'm Carlin Cook, C-A-R-L-I-N, and then C-O-O-K, or all one word, Carlton Malibu, you can search that. So, see what I'm drinking, and then I will see what you're drinking, because we'll be buddies on Untapped. So anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out, and go have yourself an awesome beer.